All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Ephraim. Today's date is December 3rd, 2022. And if you're listening to the sound of my voice, you were blessed to see another day. And for that, all praise, honor, and glory is due to the Most High God of Israel, the creator of the heavens, the earth, the universe, everything above, below, and in between. All right, welcome everybody on this Shabbat. Um, to all my uh, new subscribers who don't know what Shabbat is, Shabbat is uh, the, the 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 true Sabbath um, of the Most High God of the Israelites. Um, Sunday is a is a is a pagan day of worship, you know, uh, brought forth by the Roman Catholics. Um, but I'm not dealing with that today. I just wanted to let you give y'all a brief little you know little history lesson there, real quick. You know, for the for those of you who are kind of new to the whole you know um, movement so to speak, um, you know, that's what that is. Today is Shabbat, you know, so, uh, and uh, I didn't know what I was going to talk about today. And uh, first of all, before I even go on, let me just say um, welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, to the new and older, like if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, select all, uh, hit the notification bell, make sure you get uh, notified every time I upload a new presentation. Um, I didn't know what I was going to talk about today. I mean, you know, as you all know, there's never a shortage of things to talk about in the world, a bunch of craziness and you know, whatever, whatever. You know, sometimes I just, just stick stick with straight, you know, scripture. It just depends on how I feel and, you know, what I'm led to, to, to talk about or whatever. And I didn't know what I was going to talk about until I, I logged into YouTube um, this morning and I saw this uh this Young Turks uh video popped up on my on my on my um my feed or whatever and it was this jewish dude going off on kanye for all the wild statements he, he made on that um that Infowars uh, alex jones show with the black he had the black mask on now i'm not even gonna get into all this all the crazy stuff that kanye said cause he said a lot of stuff out of his mouth that i didn't agree with and you know you know i don't rock with you know but like i told y'all before I don't have to disparage or disrespect the people to big mine up. But see, he's not trying to big nobody up. He's just, it just seems like he's coming from a hateful place. I don't know what's up with dude, but you know, I ain't rocking with that. I don't, I don't rock with, you know, hate in no form at all. You know, um, and this Jewish dude goes on, to, you know, goes off talking about he's canceling. Kanye needs to be canceled as a human. And I mean, he said a lot of just, he said a lot of outrageous stuff myself. And I don't rock with a lot of stuff he said. Um, you know, and just because I don't really rock with what all the stuff Kanye said, you know, my, my, my position and my perspective is, 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 is this. And I want to talk about this because that, 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 you know, video with this Jewish dude going off on Kanye inspired me, inspired me to what I want, want to talk about on this, on this Shabbat. And, you know, um, for the record, and yeah, I did respond to the to the Young Turks man, and um, I didn't say anything disrespectful or disparaging. You know, I spoke the truth. I spoke the real as as a as a so called African American. They deleted my post, which I thought was was kind of foul. I didn't think they would, but but thank God I got my own platform. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm gonna say what I said on their platform on mine, and that's what I tell people. Look, man, don't 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 complain. Get your own platform, get your own thing and build it. And so thank God I have my own platform. So I'm going to say exactly what I said there, right here, live and direct to you all. So basically what I said and what, 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 what is what, what that post or what that video inspired in me is that first of all, for the record, you know, I don't rock with Adolf Hitler, man. Not at all. Um, I don't rock with nothing he said or did. You know, he was an a hole, you know, um, I think he might have been, you know, at, at some point he might have even been uh, uh, playing fire with being the Antichrist. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So I don't rock with Adolf Hitler at all, right? Number one. Number two, the Holocaust did happen. You know, we have visual proof and videos of, you know, those people, you know, look, I mean, come on, man. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what the, what the, what the, what, what the goal is trying to, trying to claim that the Holocaust didn't happen. That's just crazy, man. You know, those people did suffer. They were human beings. Forget their religion or their, this and that. They were human beings being treated like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I recognize that I would never say the Holocaust didn't happen. That's just crazy and ridiculous. You know, but my thing is, I'm going to speak all the truth, though. I'm not going to speak half of it. And, you know, that being said, for, for some reason, you know, the black, there, there were blacks in Hitler's concentration camps. And I'm sure a lot of you were, were just now years old when you found out that there were black people 
in Hitler's concentration camps, but they don't ever get talked about. Why? Because all the all the 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 you know the um, concern and and the for the suffering goes to the to the Jewish people. You know, like I said, even in even in tragedy, man, it's like they want to try to erase us out of everything. There were black people in Hitler's concentration camps. What's never talked about is there were literally there were African Americans were going over there to Germany because it was better for blacks before Hitler took over. <laughs> Now, let, let, let that sink in for a minute. Hitler H Hitler wrote a book, man, called Mein Kampf. And if you've never read it, I mean, I wouldn't recommend reading in its entirety or whatever, unless you're just really curious about what this, this dude had to say. But I was curious as to what he had to say about black people, because that propaganda statement going around the Internet about him saying the blacks for the true Jews was straight up BS, man. H Hitler never said that. Hitler didn't get, didn't get nothing, you know, give two shakes about us. You know, how he, how he really felt about us was in his book. You know, that's verifiable in Mein Kampf. And basically he said that blacks were inferior, um, that and as a matter of fact, what he did to blacks in his concentration camps, is he sterilized them because he said he feared black men making women with what with, with German white women. So he would steril sterilize black men. Um, he started rounding black men up, you know, and, and you but you never see no footage and no no picture of blacks suffering under under Hitler. But blacks did. That's a historical fact. Right. So let, so let me, so let me say that. And, you know, uh, I'm not into, you know, our people suffered more than their people, whatever the case may be. Suffering is suffering. You know, when you do something wrong to a people, man, wrong treatment or whatever the case, inhumane treatment is what it is. It doesn't matter what the, what the race is or the nation is, you know, it's, it's messed up. It's messed up. But my thing is they keep talking about Hitler killed six million Jews. Well, you know, I don't, I don't know the number of, you know, I'm pretty sure he killed, you know, killed a lot of them, but, my thing is, I know for a, a fact there were double the amount of Africans lost in the passage, you know, uh, over here to be the transatlantic and up until when we got to America. I mean, so basically, you know, there were thousands of Hitlers. And I'm just wondering why that same vitriol, that same denouncement, that same passion, that, that moral outrage isn't expressed for the 20, 30 or 40 million Africans, quote unquote, that we lost. You understand what I'm saying? So. You know, and, and, and don't even get me started on what they did to us when we got here and on the way over here. They raped our women, man, at will. Our women, had I, I, they had no choice over their bodies. You understand what I'm saying? They, 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 they emasculated the black man. He had to stand by and watch this white man constantly and continuously rape his wife whenever he wanted to. They hung us, man. They killed us at will just for sport. They would they would cut our skin off, man, and wear it as wallets. Like like listen, man, and I'm I'm sure this video I won't be able to monetize this, but it, I don't even care, man. It ain't about no few dollars. I, this is what what that video inspired in me, man. It's like because my people suffered tremendously. Where is the outrage for for the suffering of our people, of my people, right? Where is that outrage? You know what we got for 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 basically building this country for free? We got released quote unquote from slavery with no land, nothing. Just just straight up just thrown out there. Mass incarcerations, right? Jim Crow, you know. And in, even though we were, were released, blacks were still treated as second class citizens, man. And it even said as much in the in the in the in the US Constitution. They didn't look at us as human. They didn't see us as human. Okay? And I and I gotta say this real quick, man, you know, not all white people are even you know, white Jewish people was, was with the business. And when, in other words, what I mean is that there were, there were whites that walked with blacks, didn't agree with the treatment of black people, didn't agree with slavery. You know, there were, there were whites and Jewish people that walked with Martin Luther King that was a part of the movement. And I don't think that gets really talked about enough. Right. And I think it's because, you know, the brothers who, you know, really speaking against them or whatever, they have an agenda. They don't want to bring out the fact that there were whites and Jewish whites that walked with blacks that weren't with the slavery business, that weren't with the, the mistreatment of black people. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think that needs to be, you know, talked about more. So I just wanted to say that real quick, you know. Um, but after, after the, back to the point I was making about being released with nothing to, to go on, no land, no nothing. That's where the whole 40 acres and a mule thing came about. We were supposed to get 40 acres and a mule that we never got. We never got any reparations. At least the Jewish people got reparations. I mean, come on, man. Like, at least they got reparations for their suffering. What did we get? A freaking apology. That's what I'm saying. We got, a, we got an apology. We got mass incarceration, welfare, 
and, and blacks being uh, incarcerated at, at record numbers, even to this day. I mean, to this day, that's what we got for helping, for basically helping to build this country for free. So you had a group of people that, that got grossly enriched off the free labor off of another people, but yet they feel we, we're not owed anything. That's some BS, man. And I'm not taking away from what, you know, what, what those, what the Jewish people, um, suffered under Hitler. But I'm saying, where's the, where's the moral outrage for what our people suffered, man? Where, where's the moral outrage for, for the lynching of Mary T Turner? Where's the moral outrage for what they did for what grown men did to a 14 year old Emmett Till? Where's the moral outrage for them electrocuting a 14 year old boy, George Staney, man? You understand? For, for a crime he could not have physically committed. Where, where's the moral outrage, man? That's all I'm saying. You know? And so, you know, and from that standpoint, it's like, I don't, I don't take away from nobody suffering or what no, what no, what nobody went through or whatever the case may be. But don't act like there weren't millions of, of black people that suffered even worse atrocities than what the Jewish people did, man. That's all I'm saying. They did things to us, man. That, I mean, just, I mean, inhuman ain't even a, a good enough word for what they did to our people, man. I'm telling you, cutting the baby out of women's stomachs and stumping the head of the heel of their boot. I mean, this, 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 this happened, my people. This happened. You can't tell me get over it. Oh, slavery was so many hundred years ago. Won't you tell that to the Jewish people? Tell them to get over it and see what they say. You see, you see what I'm saying? There's two standards here. They want us to just get over slavery. Just get over what happened to our people. Just get over how slavery is affecting us to this very day, man. They want us to just get over it. But they will never say something as insensitive as that to the Jewish people that suffered what they suffered. They would never say that. Why? They, they think that their, their, their life their lives are more valuable than our people's lives? I mean, I don't know. That's just, just a question. You understand? I don't know what, why, why you can tell us to get over it and, 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 and we got to lace ourselves up by our bootstraps and all kinds of this and that. But yet, you know, we talk about somebody talking about the Holocaust or whatever. Oh, oh, no. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, you know, everyone's up in arms. You understand? And again, just so I'm clear. I don't agree with Kanye. I don't agree with, I, I don't stand with that, with that foolishness. I don't, you know, all I'm saying as a human being, as, as a true servant and son of the most high God, you understand? I know who I am. I don't have to disparage and disrespect, disrespect the people to big up my people. I don't have to do that. Y'all, y'all never, y'all can never see no video of mine over 200 plus art videos where I'm, I'm calling them, you know, I'm, I'm disrespecting the people or, 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 you know, downing them or, you know, this and that or the fake this, the fake that and all, you know, I don't got, I don't got to do that. You just, I just speak the truth and let the truth stand. The truth will always stand. You understand? So, and, and again, I, I thank God so much. I got my own platform. I can plug it up and say and speak what I feel, man. And guess what? This ain't going to be deleted, you know? And if it was really that serious, man, I'd put, I'd put money behind this video and, 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 and really, and, and really blow it up, you know, but I'm, 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 I'm all about letting it, you know, kind of just, just let, let it organic, organically continue to build. You know, I'm not putting no money behind nothing. Cause I'm not really making a whole lot. I make a few dollars with a little monetization, but it ain't all that, you know, more so what I do is, is still for less. It's, it's a labor of love for the most part. You know, but getting a few dollars here and there, I mean, that's cool, but it ain't all that, man. Not for me, not for my channel, you know, um, but, it, but it ain't about that. You know, I think that's why a lot of YouTubers, you know, have that, the, especially people that really, really support them go to, um, you know, the cash app route, you know, and shout out to Sunray, man. That sister, that sister's been pouring into me, you know, financially. And I, and I shout out to you, sister. I love you. Appreciate you for that. But I think that's why a lot of YouTubers do that because, you know, we, we ain't really making no money off these videos, man, off these ads, these monetization. We, we not. And, you know, it's, it takes time and, 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 and money to put, put, put these presentations together. So I see and understand more so now why YouTubers do that. So the people that really like and support them could really send them love offerings and help them keep up, you know, with the channel and stuff like that and keep the, keep the content coming. You know, because it's free for y'all, but I guarantee you it ain't free for a YouTuber. So I get it now. And shout out to all of y'all who, who represent in that way and show support. You know, that's that's what's up. Um, but that 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 video, man, dude, dude said a lot of things out of his mouth, man. I, I, I wasn't rocking with the Jewish dude. You know, just like I wasn't rocking with a lot of stuff Kanye was saying. 
You know what I mean? But 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 it just hit me in my heart, man. It's like where's where's the outrage for the for the millions of, of, of black people that were lost, for the millions of black people that suffered atrocities. I mean, there were there were thousands of Hitlers right here in America, man. So I'm saying I'm you know, and I'm I'm in a unique position to talk about this. You understand? I'm I'm born and raised in this country. I, I served in the military in this country. You understand? I can say what I want to say. I can say what I need to say. You know about whatever. My life was on the line. Desert storm. You understand what I'm saying? I can say this. I can speak on America, and America is. And let's speak. I'm gonna keep it all the way 100, man. America is in no place to be. No moral moral authority on nobody. On nothing. Like miss me. Y'all talking about this and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all still got skeletons in y'all closet, man. America, that is that y'all have never dealt with. It was just kind of swept under the rug. We got an apology. We get a little. We get a little uh, Black History Month in February. You know what I'm saying? And like that's supposed to like that means something or whatever. Nah, where, where's the where's the economic um uh thing? Where's the financial uh, gain for for Black people? Still feeling the effects of slavery to this day, man. To this day, status quo. So this, to this day, whites on top, blacks on bottom. To this day, that's what I'm, I'm saying. You know, let's just keep it a hundred, man. Let's let's deal with this. You understand? We we you know I don't I don't want your apology. I don't want your apology. I want something tangible, something that my people can touch and feel. It's going to affect us economically. Give us an economic, a real economic base. You understand? Keep the, keep your apology, man. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to feel that this country is in no position to be a moral authority on no people suffering for what they did to our people right here on this land, man. Right here on this land, you understand. You could see the videos of our people in chains, chains on their neck like freaking animals. They treated us like cattle, like I mean. They fed us like hogs, man. They would they would throw throw food out to the troughs like they did the hogs to feed our man. Okay, listen, I gotta. I'm speaking from the heart, but y'all know me, man. I'm emotional with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if anyone who thinks it's that that what they did to us back then don't affect us now emotionally and financially, man, y'all y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Just the, just the, the, the atrocities, man, of what they did to our people right here on American soil, man. But yet they condemning what Hitler was doing to the Jewish people over there in Germany. But y'all was doing worse than us right here in America. But yet y'all y'all expressing this moral outrage. See, I, I, I typed this on a response to that Young Turks video and they deleted it, but they ain't deleting this one, though. You understand? I'm not the they don't. They don't want to hear the truth. People don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear their truth. People want to hear what they want to hear. What makes them feel good? You understand? They don't want to deal with the the, the 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 hardcore raw truth of the matter. You understand? The truth of the matter is that our people went through just as much, if not more, of an atrocity. <clears throat> excuse me, right here in America, right here, man, on American soil. And probably what when, when, when a lot of those Jewish, what they was going through with Hitler over there, a lot of our black people was going through right here in America. Maybe not on a big, as big a scale by then at that point. But trust me, blacks were still getting killed. Blacks were still getting uh, abused by the police. You know, blacks were still getting, you know, uh, unjustly jailed, sent to prison for dumb stuff. There's a, there's, there, there's a, um, there's a documentary on that about, about that on uh, I saw I, I don't know if I think it was Prime Video or I think it was Prime. Um, back in the day, they had they had a thing where they would arrest um, black people, black men for for like dumb stuff and send them to, send them to prison so they could take advantage of the free labor. So basically, they they were they were they were basically unofficial slaves again at that point. That's what they were doing for a long time. That was a thing. Like I forget the president who came out and and, and told them to stop this madness, stop the madness. But it, there's there's a um, documentary. I'm gonna try to try to find it, man, and give y'all the name up so y'all can check that out, man. You know, but that that was a thing, even to this day. Get all that is free labor, so it's basically back to being slaves again. Just only thing is the chains are removed and the shackles off your feet and your ankles. But when you excuse me, when you incarcerated, you're essentially a slave again. You're a slave. And why are you a slave? Why is that constitute? Why why constitute as being a slave? Because you can't you can't move about freely. You can't go and leave if you want. You're a slave. You're a slave to the state. You understand? Let's just. Oh, I don't want to keep burping. Sorry, y'all. Um, you know, let's let's deal with it. 
So anyway, my thing is, you know, um, any any people that suffered, you know, the, the Aborigines, you know, they suffered. You know, our people have been suffering, I mean, a lot longer than any nation on earth. My people, Israelites, listen to me. From the very beginning, we were hated. Every nation hates us. This one sister asked me a question. I think it was yesterday or day before, whatever the uh, presentation I had. She said, why are they pretending that they're us? Why don't they just be who they are? And my response was because it's so easy for them not to. You know, when you factor in that most of our people don't know who we really are, that, that the battle is half won. When Israel was recognized as a state in 1948 um, by Harry Truman, the then president of the United States, whatever, that's when the that's when the Jewish people started moving into Israel. And I mean, you know, my thing is, hey, that's fine. You know, we wouldn't own the land. You know, we didn't even know it was our land, right? But 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 where it got iffy for me is when they started really trying to live the life. That not only did they steal our basically steal our identity, but they went as far as to say that they were the quote unquote chosen people that the, the Jews of the Bible. They they just took it way out and, and left field, man. Like they ain't had to do all that. All they had to do was say, well, look, man, you know, we, we converted to Judaism so we consider ourselves Jews. So we, we, we feel like this land is just as much ours as the original Israelites or something like that. But they didn't do that. They didn't do that. They, talk, they started perpetuating this big lie about them being the chosen people and then try to use, try to lie on their DNA to, to make it look truthful. Not knowing that one day one of us would come up and be like, oh, wait a minute, hold on for a second. That's not that DNA stuff y'all talking about. That's not true. You understand? They didn't. They didn't. They didn't count on that. That we would get the knowledge one day because we were supposed to have this knowledge, the DNA knowledge. We were supposed to have that. Lo and behold, the Most High raised one of us up. Me, January 2015. Put it in place, man, by by His grace and mercy. So, you know, E1B1A, man, we stand on it, and, and we'll continue to stand on it. You understand? The children of Israel, man. So. That's all. I, I wanted to, you know, that, that video inspired me talking about he's canceled as a human. Who are you to cancel somebody as a human? Like, who the hell do you think you are, man? Like, like it's, it's stuff like that, you know, and, 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 and people kind of agreeing with, man, I ain't agreeing. I ain't rocking with that. Dude, who are you? You understand? And, and, this, and, and this is in no way trying to, 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 to back up. You know, Kanye's foolishness. Uh, he, he just went, he just, man, I don't know what's wrong with that. Dude. I don't know if he got a, you know, some kind of, I don't know what's wrong with that dude, man. I really don't. You know, I mean, to say the things he said at, at, on Alex Jones, man, I mean, that dude is on, Kanye on some stuff, man. I mean, he on some stuff. I mean, when you, when you, when you see the whole thing about it, my people was, even if you, even if you speak in a little truth, but you got some madness with it, the Bible says a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump, man. You can't rock with that. You understand a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. You can't rock with some of the truth mixed with falsehood. You can't, you can't rock with it. You just can't, you know, it's like throwing a little meat to the dogs, but then come, then throwing, and putting some madness on top. Nah, man, it don't work like that. If you gonna speak the truth, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Don't throw in no madness with it, man. Cause once you throw in madness to me, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not listening to you. I'm not. Me loving my people don't mean I hate no other people. Me being pro black don't mean I'm anti white. I mean, come on, man. We should be able to love our people without getting, you know, you know, getting called anti this and anti that because we love our people. And I think y'all, y'all know my, y'all know my stilo. Y'all know how I rock. I love our black women. I represent for our black men. You know, I do the, the dedication to the women of Zion, the beautiful Bantu women, I, you know, all that. Because I know that the, the hate and the, and, the, and the stuff that our black women get. You got all these all these so-called prominent black brothers, man, with white girls on their arm, man. They finally made it. Only, now they want to transfer all that wealth to white people. I mean, I'm just saying. That's not lost on me. That's why I make it a point to represent five black women, man. I don't care what nobody say. This ain't no, ain't no lustful thing. Yes, I'm, as a black man, I appreciate a sister who's well put together, nice looking, keep herself up. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm going to represent that. No doubt. Y'all can say what y'all want. I'm going to continue to represent that. Because society and, and, and it will have you believe that the black women ain't, ain't about nothing. They, they loud, they this, they that. 
you know, black men are lazy, this to this to that, you know, all those stereotypes, man. Like I said, I know we as a people, I know we're not perfect. I know we're not. I would, I would never sit up here and try to act like, you know, we, we get it right all the time, or whatever. We don't. You know what I'm saying? We represent the worst and the best both at the same time. That's what I always say. That's us. As a black people, as Negroes, quote unquote, as Israelites, we represent the best and the worst both at the same time. But for what we suffered, you know what I'm saying? Our suffrage, no, it don't get nowhere near the, 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 the outrage and more outrage. I never heard no one say that there was going, someone needed to be canceled, you know, for what they did to our people or, or anything along those lines, you know. It's, it's like they just kind of say, kind of, yeah, well, slavery was a thing. It was messed up, you know, it was swept it under the rug. You know, blacks, we are still very much on the bottom. We are still very much the tail. The small percentage of us that are doing well, it pales in comparison to the majority of us who are doing not so well. And, and, and the percentage of us that are literally in abject par poverty throughout the world. We are truly on the bottom, man. It's sad. It's sad as my heart. It, you know, I get emotional sometimes thinking about it because I know the, I, I know the, 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 you know, the, um, I know the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, we can do a lot of things, man. The potential for us as a people, we can do things that other people can't do. That's why they, they steady trying to steal from us and take from us. They want our talents. They want our gifts. They want our abilities. They just don't want us. They don't want our black face. They don't want us as a people. They want our gifts and our abilities. And that, that's why we do things that no other race and nation can do. Because, because even though we're still, li we're living under the curses, we are, st we still belong to the most high. We are a special people, man. And our people don't know how special we really are. That's the thing that's hurtful to me. We are special people still, even though we're basically being punished. All right. For our ancestors disobedience. We're, 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 we're being punished, man. We're, we're, we're being punished for the sins of our forefathers. But we are still a, 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 a special people. You, if you look at all across, for, even from science, they won't, they won't, they won't, they won't let you know it. But in science, medicine, all of that, we, we ain't just a race of people that can jump the highest or run the fastest. You know, we're also the smartest, but they, they, don't, they don't want you to believe that. They don't, they, and they don't want to believe that, right? Would it, would it, would it, um, uh, Fury style say in Boys in the Hood, the best way you can take away, you know, a people is take away their ability to reproduce themselves. That's the best way you can hurt a people. What does that deal, what does that deal directly or indirectly with black men, mass incarceration? If a dude is in prison, he sure can't be making no babies. If a dude is being, if, 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 a, if a race of people is being killed, you know, by the police, they sure can't be making no babies. So I mean, I mean Furious, Furious Styles was a was a, a fictional character in a in a fictional based movie based on you know reality. But and he said that back in 1991 in Boys in the Hood. Me, and my brother, and two chicks went to go see it in the movie theaters back in the day. You know what I mean? So anyway, man, again, man, y'all know me, man. I don't, I don't have, to, I don't. This ain't no hate channel. I don't disrespect nobody, you know, I don't call nobody's names, whatever the case may be, but I'm just getting so sick and tired of, of, of pushing this agenda where, you know, it's all the poor, you know, uh, people that went, uh, went under, you know, um, what they went through with, with, with Hitler and, and, and it's like our, the suffrage of our people, you know, it gets, it gets no outrage. It gets no wreck. It gets no nothing like, you know, like millions of Africans didn't suffer. So-called Africans, you know, we, we know this, we know the real, but y'all you know, know I use terms that everyone else is familiar with. So y'all know what time it is. And that's all I wanted to really say, man, you know, um, I'm going in and, and, and end this, but, but I want to speak my peace, speak my mind. And this ain't getting deleted. You understand? You know, hashtag miss me. You know, that's how I really feel, man. You know, again, I, I, you know, um, any people that, 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 that suffered, you know, any, in any kind of way, you know, I'm empathetic towards and empathetic for, you know, even the Palestinians, you know, what they're going through over there, you know, they're both fighting for, fighting for land don't belong to either one of them, but the stuff that they went through as a, as, as I'm talking about as a, as a human, as a human being, no human should be treated like that. No, no human beings, man. You understand? 
So anyway, on that note, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end this Shabbat, but I want to speak from my heart, you know, and until next time, this is Dr. Ephraim signing off. Inshallah, Wami Lekt.